the sun always shines. As we get ready to start the premier part of the night, and some of the people in the back come to the front, I'll give you a little bit of information about what's going on this weekend. Coming up on the 16th is our um, annual uh, food basket drive and telethon. We're going to be actually doing it on screen on on the YouTube and hoping that people will phone in and do that whole telephone telethon kind of thing. Now, one of the things that's happening is that because we're December 16th, I discovered that all the Christmas hampers are already designed and filled and done by December 2nd. So any money that comes in after December 2nd is basically utilized for 2019 for the following year, right? So I asked about it, and I heard that toiletries are a big thing. They need toilet paper. Because those are the first things to go out. So one of the things I got thinking about, it was only I would think about it, was how can I help those people feel like they got their shit together going into 2019? Have a, have a toilet paper drive. So if you're around on Sunday, and if you have an extra 12-pack or a 6-pack or a 24 of the really lush stuff, if you want, drop it off here. We'll make sure it gets to the Food Basket Society, the Calcium Food Basket Society, who has been putting forth that food bank for a number of years now, and without them, well, it just wouldn't happen, right? So we're very appreciative that they do that for the people. And more and more people are showing up to that. So any monies donated or any toilet paper will go directly to them. But we're going to have music starting at 3 o'clock right through till 10 o'clock that night, ending off the night with the Porter Brothers. So if you want to come down, Kara Hallam's going to be here with her new group as well, her new trio. Uh, Shay Dame's going to play uh, a whole bunch of people. I can't see the list in my mind right now. But anyway, that's what's happening this Sunday if you get a chance. And don't forget that on Christmas Day, if you like to be alone together on Christmas, some of us like to do that. Family situations just don't jive with us somehow. So we have a, a little breakfast that goes on 9 o'clock in the morning for all those who like to be alone but together with people, like-minded people. So if you're out and about and you want, just come down. It's, it's all through donations that people have given us for the food and all that, and it's really kind of good. You might want to give it a try. But right now, we're here for Mr. Rick White who has, in fact, as I said earlier, five years in this, as a concept, three years in production with Dr. Ted Cadillac. It's been a wonderful experience. Late at night at times, I see him leaving the place, you know, he's been working for hours on it and stuff like that. But it's been a wonderful experience. And tonight is the final. Here it is. Give it up for him, please. Rick White.
So that's how the fucking album starts. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Becoming clear, oh, concealed through his head, he's failing. He just wanted to be noticed, but the marks on his temple show that he hates himself. Thank you. Turn this on to 
crawl back into this familiar empty room I tear my world into To make this feel new Woo! So when my dream I stand alone in colored walls and I'm a canvas this is the place I call my home, my own solitary palace, no. So by the time I color in these walls, it all no longer feels subconscious. So when I finally wake up, I'm left with age-old tired anguish, oh, like the notes to the song. Back into this familiar empty room, I tear my world in two. Make this feel new. Oh, oh Thanks, everyone. This is not going my way already. No! <clears throat> Fucking out of tune and blowing shit. Dropping my goddamn tuners. Just shit on my life, God. Uh. <laughs> Check this out. This is a great song. You're going to love this one. Ready? There's the problem. Did it? Yeah, oh, you shithead. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so this uh this show has been excellent. Thanks uh Nick and Max for fucking killing it. That was fantastic. Thank you guys really honestly for coming out and playing. It means a lot. <laughs> Um, so I'm here to promote an album thing that uh, I wrote like five years ago and took until now to complete. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited about it. It's a concept album thing. If you don't know what that means, it's like a story from the first track to the last track, and it you know it goes along as such. Um, this is a song off that. It's called uh, "A Last Call for the Hopeless Romantics." Man for the life she lives, maybe 
she's longing for somebody just like him. his heart sink she now enters another This is going all right. Thank you, everyone. Hope you're all enjoying it thus far. You guys big fans of Donald Trump? <laughs> you guys big fans of conservative America? This song is about that. never 
felt so calm In the future they're so bleak There's daughters marching feet With the mothers in the streets But I'll be damned if I believe Could really change a thing. So you who sing a song, and we all sing along at the top of our lungs. Ooh. But in the end, we die. is obsolete and love is for the weak yeah and god is dead let's drink ourselves into eternal sleep because the earnest never thrive and apathy has died and greatness only comes to those who keep the good beneath their feet but you who sing a song Top of our lungs, Ooh. in the end, we die alone. Oh, yeah, we all die alone. This is a song that is uh, unlike um, most of what I write in that it ends on a positive note. <laughs> There's a little ditty, it's one of my favorites. It's called Gold. I'm playing this on the wrong fret. Is this right? That's right. Despite what we all knew would be his fate One day he did not wake She left him there in the house Come back to that hometown And that the routine to 
to see him go But they know That their new home by the coast Wouldn't be the last he know Cause their home still the feeling in me Which I had never known my girlfriend for the next tune. Woo! Give Sierra Miller a big hand, everyone. Did you just dab, you fuck? What? <laughs> Yeah, this song has a nice little sort of high, uh, high harmony in the chorus, and uh, she sounds great in it, so uh, yeah, we do this relatively frequently. <laughs> we haven't done it in a while. Anyways, this is, uh, actually I recorded a sort of a number of tracks with uh, a dude named Brody, who's right there, shout out. He, also known as BB, did the production for, uh, for the Vine EP. Check that shit out. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is a song that I uh, recorded with him. It's I called. Was not in the recording. Uh, well, <laughs> it's called Saint Judas Blues. Oh 
But if it were my decision I think I'd rather sleep here with the fish So my blood runs cold My blood runs cold Thank you, everybody. Sierra Miller. Whee! Still doing all right, everyone? Woo! Oh. I don't have a comeback. I don't respond well to flattery. <laughs> All right, so uh, so back in uh, back in June, I did this stupid thing where I decided that it would be fun to uh, cover a different song uh, every day for the whole month. So I posted like thirty cover videos in one month and annoyed the shit out of all my Facebook friends. <coughs> but um. This is one of those covers. This is uh, arguably more of a meme than a song. Um, feel free to sing along if you know the words, or at the very least, shout the chorus. <laughs> Snail! Heart. Show my love Made it in my mind Because Blame it on my ADD Baby This is how an angel dies Blame it on my own supply Blame it on my ADD Baby
If that's all right. Whee! <laughs> um, this is another of uh, the sort of singles, what I call digital singles, that I uh, released a little while ago. This one's one of my favorites, but might put a lot of you off because it's just so sad. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is called Swan Song. Now 
are planning the crime of the century Well, what could it be? Read all about their schemes and adventuring Well, it's well worth the fee goes from bad to worse So bury me Alone with my broken, crippled mind Forget the name on the stone So caught up in death Wait and serenity That I've become so familiar With living so All right, this will be my last one. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming out. I can't thank you enough for coming out and uh, supporting me and Nick and Max. And uh, this has been so much fun. Thank you. Uh, if you have enjoyed what you've heard, please consider buying a uh, CD or a shirt. Or we got fucking bars of soap. Yes, because don't let anyone tell you that being unhygienic is cool. <laughs> <clears throat> Huge thank you to uh, Long John and Georgia and Trevor and uh, Shade and Aiden and anyone here at the showroom who helps put on shows day in and day out. You guys are fantastic. Love you. Love the venue. Um, and the biggest thank you of all to Dr. Ted Cadillac doing sound. Fuck yeah, guy. Tim in the back there. Not only does he do sound here every night. What the fuck? Dude, Jesus, you're going to give me a seizure. It might make for a better show. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, not only does he fucking kill it every day doing sound, but he also helped me single-handedly uh, record the entire album. We recorded it here in-house. We did the drums down here, everything else upstairs. The dude is a fucking magician on the board. Uh, give him a huge round of applause because he deserves it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thanks. It's out. We're done. <laughs> Five years. Christ. <laughs> all right. Thank you all so much for uh, coming out and for watching. I've been losing sleep. Needing much less every week. Victim to my inadequacies 
That's a drop in the bucket for me With my growing lack of energy I'm perplexed that you've chosen to be with me You deserve much better placed in these shoes so how am I supposed to know what to do when I'm so used to being alone so why the fuck do I feel so comfortable Why would you bring me out again? <laughs> Thank you so much. I love you all. You're the best.
diagnosis came as a surprise to us all and I felt my heart beat faster than it ever did before the thought of losing my only child was never something I thought I would have to deal with and each word she pens Makes the truth so much harder to stand I thought it used to be bad But I can't imagine what he's feeling now without his dad And it pains me to see him so helpless in that bed I refuse to believe that my son might soon be dead stronger than I would have suspected The light slowly dimming His eyes speak of pain Speaks. I won't give up. I won't give up on you. And I won't give up on me. And with it, his time ran out. And she watched him fade away. She please stay with me, whoa. Stay with me, whoa. Stay with me, whoa. Stay with me. sits on the edge of the bridge it's become her favorite place to think 
reminisce of her son's gentle kiss and to write her thoughts away. It's been three months and I don't feel anything. I'm still numb. I still live with this pain. Every single day But I think I've found a remedy Cause when I fall asleep I see him with me So I must believe that somewhere He still breathes I've been taught to Thank you so much. Who decides who deserves, who defies, who defers? 